Hey guys, welcome back to the Solo Squire Challenge. Alright, today we're going to be in the campaign. We're going to be doing Insane Hardcore. And last time, we did the... I think we did Tornado Valley, actually. I meant to do Tornado Islands. I might have to scrap the last video. Whoops. Alright, so last time we did Tornado Valley. This time we're going to be doing the Tornado Highlands. All right, let's build some defenses. We're going to block this off here because our defenses at this point are pretty overpowered. So we're kind of just going to run these as fast as possible because eight minute videos do a lot better than 20 minute videos typically. Unless it's on Dutch Defenders going rogue and you make an hour long, it ends up being your best viewed video on your channel. Eh, you know what? Let's block it from here. I don't want to have to guard this, so I'll just put one here right away. So, how is it? What is everyone thinking about Dungeon Defenders going rogue? I've had some pretty mixed opinions on it. it. Seems like the vast majority of people think that the game is just unfinished, which, fair. Honestly, fair. It's definitely not a finished game, but nonetheless, it's still pretty fun. I don't think we can make that jump, and I'm not risking falling off. Build the rest of these up. You know, we can actually do this while the map runs. Like I said, we're kind of just speeding through these levels because these levels on insane difficulty are just light work. Absolute light work for the solo squire. Like, Warden Who? DST who? Who needs an EV? Nah. Just keep her going. She probably should probably put a few towers down over here. This lane gets quite a bit of traffic, so we definitely want to have it covered. Uh, how is this all doing over here? Since this is so close to spawn, I should really probably put another one on there. Influent resources. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? Just pick up some more mana. Just flying through these enemies. gonna upgrade everything not that it's really gonna end up mattering in the end but you know just give us something to do during this time I'd say we could go and kill some enemies but we're having trouble uh, just getting out the doors say though we're not getting a whole lot of XP off of this but I don't think that it'll be too much of a problem and 
more uncommon weapons. I just want a rare weapon game. Just give me a rare weapon, please. Alright, last enemies are trickling in over there. And G up right away. Should have pushed that a little bit closer. Even if I upgrade these, I'll have enough range to get them. Upgrade them again. Yeah, see, we're getting the range now. Man, another uncommon weapon. And a common weapon. What is this? More uncommon weapons. You'll love to see it. I will say, from playing as the Squire for quite a while now, doing the solo Squire challenge, I have come across a rare weapon for nearly every hero, except for the Squire. I'm not sure if his loot rate is just like way lower on swords, or like how it works, but it's been very weird like that. Is you'd think that all the weapons would be pretty much kind of interchangeable on drop rate. But, at least from my experience, it's not really accurate to say. But, maybe when we beat this boss fight for Act 2, maybe we'll get a really good weapon and that'll make up for it. Yeah, more uncommon gear. Alright, let's head back to the tavern. Only six minutes that one? Alright, perfect. Did we just lose all of our XP? Am I tripping? That's weird. I'll have to uh, look at that in the editing. But uh, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you watch this far, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. There's plenty on the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.